the choose function in Excel allows you to set up scenarios typically so that depending on what you type in a cell Excel will use one of the cells um, pointed to so for example here I've got a selector so I want to choose what scenario to use for units and what selling price scenario to use I've got a little income statement here so this is the unit sold so if there's a one here I expect to see this row in here if there's a two here I expect to see that row in there I could use an if function but because we're starting to go to three or more scenarios it could be a nested if function so the actual choose function is very very nice let's just find it and you'll see all you need to do is firstly tell it what the index number is so I'm going to say Excel go look at whatever's in that cell there and put my dollar signs on if there's a 1 there what must Excel do it must use that cell there if there's a 2 there it must use that cell there and notice as I click I get more and more of these options so that's if there's a 3 these don't have dollar signs so when I say OK and I copy it across you'll see what this is doing is it's looking here and if there's a 1 there it uses the first one if there's a 2 there it uses the second one 3 there it uses the third one doing the same thing for the selling price the index number now so sometimes it'll be the same one but in this case we've got a different one for selling price put my dollar signs on if it's a 1 use that selling price if it's a 2 use that selling price if it's a 3 use that selling price when I say OK again I can copy it across so now I've got my total revenue but I can easily change these so what happens if the unit sold is actually going to be scenario 3 I type a 3 in there Excel adjusts that and our total revenue changes what happens if the selling price is actually going to be scenario 2 I type a 2 there and if you watch down here you'll see that changes and our total revenue changes so this is a very good way to run scenarios in your spreadsheets